All right, people, I just want to talk a little bit about Donald Trump and um, that Kamala Harris situation that is going on over there. Now, Americans already, they're always saying that they don't want foreigners to get involved in the elections. They do not want foreigners to meddle in the elections, but they're always meddling in some other person's election. So I'm going to meddle this morning in American elections. When I look at the situation, this lady called Kamala Harris, when I study um, Kamala Harris, when they said that Kamala, when the um, Democrats concluded or agreed, and it was official that Kamala Harris was going to run the election vibes for them, the first thing that that lady said was that um, she was going to champion that gay business and she going to give women rights to choose. So these are code words like right to choose means that she's going to strengthen the ability of people to get abortions done in America. So the first half, the first words that came from her mouth as a politician is that's what she wants to do for people. And that is what she is pushing for black people. As if the most important thing for black people is rights to commit abortion. That is what I see. The Democrats behaving as if their gift, the gift of the, the, the Democrat candidate to black people in America is to give them the rights to commit um, abortion unhindered. Whereas there are so many things that black people need. This Kamala Harris said that she's not going to do nothing for black people specifically. But then these same people go and put laws in motion to benefit um, Asians specifically. They put laws to benefit a certain set of people that are untouchable in America. They put laws to benefit them specifically. Whereas 90 something percent of black people vote for these people, these Democrats. But she will say that they will not put nothing in, 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 in order for them specifically. And with that, the people, the black people are saying that they, some of them are saying that they're just going to vote for this woman just because she's black. Not because of policy, not because she's going to put things in place for them as black people, not because she's going to put mechanism in place so that the police um, probably will handle their people better. She's not talking about making um, loans more accessible to black people or business loans because that's one of the things that black people in fact there was a documentary showing that black people are discriminated against as it relates to loans business loans and housing loans but the Kamala Harris is not interested in nothing like that to put mechanisms in place to help black people the only thing she wants for black people is to give them rights to commit um, abortion and she wants to pay and push the gay business and in spite of that, the people are behaving like that is the greatest thing that they have heard since sliced bread. And even if you do not like Trump, but you can't run an election based on the fact that you hate Trump. Let's hate Trump. Let's hate Trump. Let's hate Trump. That's what these people are saying. And they have no substance. No substance. If I were in, in America, I was not going to vote for this Democrat. And if it is that I did not like Trump, I would just stay out of the polls. And when you really look at it, as the people like Trump, these are the kind of politicians I like. Trump will tell you whatever it is that is in his head. You don't have to think. You don't have to read between the lines. 
Trump is going to tell you whatever it is that he has to tell you. And whatever he says that he's going to do, he's going to do it. Whatever he says that he's not going to do, he's not going to do it. And these are the kind of politicians that the world needs at this point. Now, there are certain idiosyncrasies that Trump has that I really don't like. You understand? And I do not like his stance on how he deal with foreigners. But Trump is somebody and a politician who's really looking out for the interests of Americans. He doesn't care about foreigners, but he's looking out for the interests of Americans. And in this St. Lucia here, we need a crop of politicians who are just bent on looking out for the best interests of St. Lucians. In the whole Caribbean, we need politicians who are interested in pioneering the affairs and the interests of the local people. Keep the fire burning. Chebe 4.